fine, you know, do the thing. Nope. Hello world, welcome back to another video. Listen up because today I have some exciting news for you guys because I am hosting a readathon with three other Dutch booktubers, namely Lucy, Berta and Daphne. It's called the Readathon of Kings because it coincides with Dutch King's Day, which is the birthday of our monarch, and it's going to be awesome. The readathon will take place from April the 27th until the 30th, so it's spread out over four days. It starts at midnight in your time zone, so wherever you are in the world, as soon as it turns midnight and it becomes the 27th, the readathon has started. We have a couple of reading challenges planned as well, so I will walk you through those. Read a book with orange or red, white and blue on the cover. Orange is our national colour, but red, white and blue are the colours of our flag, so it's up to you to decide which one of those challenges you want to do. It's kind of an A or B thing. Number two, read a book by a Dutch author. There's quite a few of them being translated into English, so do not despair if you don't understand Dutch, which is probably the case for the majority of people watching this video. I'm planning to do a separate video with recommendations for this challenge, so if you're interested but you don't really know where to start, then definitely stick around for that. Number three, read a book to do with royalty. Like I said, April 27th is the birthday of our king, so we thought it would be fun to kind of incorporate that into our challenges. Number four, read a book you bought because it was cheap. The idea here is that the Dutch have a reputation for being quite stingy, but I think the reality for most book lovers is that we all get a little overexcited sometimes and we take on more than we can actually read. Um, so we buy books just because they're cheap and we're like, oh, that's a good opportunity. And then we never get to them because we're all drowning in TBRs. So that's four challenges for four days, which we realize is quite ambitious, but that's also kind of the point of a readathon, isn't it? If you only want to do one or two of the challenges or you want to tweak our ideas into something that works better for you, that's also fine, of course. We're just happy if you decide to participate. So whatever works for you, including rereads, you're more than welcome to do. There will also be a tag video about some fun books that all of us hosts will be doing, and we will also be tagging people, but definitely feel free to jump in on the fun and do the tag if you've not been tagged, because we cannot literally tag everyone. We have created a Twitter account for this readathon. The handle is at Kings Readathon. Definitely follow us on there because we'll also be hosting uh, sprints and stuff. As we don't have a separate YouTube channel for the readathon, all our videos will also be on there and all the updates and all the important information. So if you want to participate, check out the Twitter. Make sure to follow my fellow hosts as well to stay up to date about their TBRs and their version of the tag and all the good stuff. So quick summary, myself and three other awesome Dutch ladies will be hosting a readathon at the end of April, it's going to be the bomb. Obviously, we would like all of you to join in in whatever way is convenient for you. I will leave all the relevant information in the description box down below so you can check it out at your leisure. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to approach me or any of the other hosts and we hope you join us. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it and I will see you again next time. Bye!